All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna we're gonna get the uh, the the week and the sum of I'm sorry, the day of week and the sum of revenue again, but we're gonna do it a different way. And if you're if you see that the complexity of this example gets really scary, don't worry about it. We're gonna come back to these concepts again. I just want to slowly introduce complicated things alongside basic things because people at different levels will appreciate it in different ways. And as you come back to it, you'll appreciate it more. So remember we have that, that handy function to character and we got the day of the week as a three letter abbreviation, uh, T-H-E-U-F-R-I. Um, we did that up here. So just really quick refresher, command K, shift K, and uh, you'll see that we had that Monday, Thursday, Friday, whatever you want to do. That was nice, but what if we didn't know about that and we just wanted to use our extract friend? Um, so we could do select extract day of week from uh, payment date, uh, from payment P, and let's see what we got. Oh no, we've got this horrible number, zero through six, and uh, Sunday happens to be zero, so just keep that in mind. Um, and let's you know, let's get our let's get our sum of uh, P dot amount. Um, of course, you got to group by one. Group by one. All right. And yeah, we'll just um, we'll order by one as well. Okay. And let me see. I like looking at money. Money is a good thing. Um, so now intuitively we know that this is Sunday because the documentation says it's Sunday. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, everybody's favorite day, and then Saturday. Now, what if you have to send out a report to people and they're like, well, what is two? This is no good. I need to know what two is. Let me introduce something called a, um, a case statement. So a case statement basically is a way to um, kind of classify things in your uh, query. Um, so, and I'm also going to introduce another thing. Um, should I do that now? No, I'm just going to do the case statement. So, all right, first check this out. Select, what if I just wanted to select everything from this query? Could I do it? No. What is it going to tell me? It's going to say subquery must have an alias as foo. Well, what if I write foo? <laughs> that works. <laughs> what if I just write t? That works too. What if you just write your name? Well, that works too. Bottom line, you can select anything from anything. So I'm basically just selecting everything from T. And let's just uh, try this for a second. T dot star from T, right? Now we can actually, just like any other statement, and this might blow your mind, you can just keep selecting things. Um, so, and I'm gonna call this as DOW. Now watch what happens. Now I have DOW, it's a number. So I have everything from this inner query. Now I can add more columns. I'm gonna add something called a case statement. So you're gonna do case, and you know, the style and the formatting, uh, it's up to you, but there's a pattern here. So I'm gonna do when uh, t.dow equals zero, and then it's gonna be Sunday. And I think you can see what's gonna happen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm just going to abbreviate here. Friday, and you can tell I'm counting eight here, starting at zero, so this doesn't make sense. And I'm going to write end as uh, day of week, and just cross our fingers here. All right, there we go. So what we actually did here, just to recap, right? So we had an inner query. We just had this thing, right? That's what it was. 
and we use the extract method to get the numerical day of week from the payment date, whereas up here we used two car that returned a, a three-letter uh, value. We did our little aggregation to sum up the, uh, you know, sum up the money, and uh, you know we grouped and ordered, but we weren't happy with the numerical column. So we did this kind of technique that may look weird at first. You can select anything from anything. So think about a query. This is just a table. Think about this is just one table. So I can select anything I want from that table. And all I have to do is make sure I give it a name. So I just call it a T. But we could call it, you know, my name is Jeff. So I'm just going to call it Jeff. And um, then you could do everything from Jeff, which is, you know, this little guy for the most part. And then I'm going to add another statement. It's a case. And again, a case just kind of lets you classify things. So it's so I want to see zero it means Sunday. You get the point. So you run it. Oh yeah. You know, I'm using T. So well let's just go back to T because I don't feel like writing Jeff in a hundred times there. So we're back. Now let's take this to it's kind of extreme. Let's let's just select more stuff from it. And you know if, if this is a little confusing it's okay. You'll see the pattern over and over. Um, generally, you might not want to do this. Call it T2. Maybe we're doing, you know, the Terminator here. Uh, and, you know, we could do where... Let's, first, let's just do this, right? Let's make sure it works. We're getting everything from that. And we're going to say we're T2, um, you know, day of week. You do, you know, it equals Friday. Right? You could do that. Or you could say T2, day... What was the sum? T2 sum is greater than... Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm getting into argument type errors here, but you get the point. You could do even uh, T2 day of week. Uh, Thurs, that's what I had up here. There you go. So, you know, again, I just wanted to stress, if you happen to stumble upon documentation when you were trying to figure out what to do and it was returning, these numerical dates, you're not out of luck. All you have to do, you could just use a, a handy dandy case statement. You can select everything from your query. Um, you probably could have just used the case statement on this, but I find this to be a little bit more concise. And uh, you can keep selecting uh, from it. So a lot of nice ideas here, ideas that you'll reuse over and over, for instance. Um, Remember in one of the videos where we had to use the having clause to deal with the count. Um, remember this one? Let's just uh, reignite that one here. So remember this. <clears throat> we were looking at, um, whoops. Let me uncomment this. Right, we were looking at some customers, the total amount that they spent, and a few other metrics, and we wanted to see where people had at least 20 orders. Well, what if we just, what if we didn't know about having? Let's just get rid of that for a second. What if we didn't know about having? We could just do a big select. We could go say, eh, you know, give me everything from this query. Just make sure it works. No, don't forget the alias, call it T, call it whatever you want run it and uh, count, you just do say or a t.count greater than 20 and uh, that would be one way to get around using the having clause if you didn't know about it. So again, I hope that wasn't too complicated, just trying to get you a sense of where we're going, the actual questions we're going to be answering and kind of the voodoo of all this stuff. Um, great, this was a good one.